As most of us know, Discord and GitHub are places notorious for hackers and trolls. And well recently, I got hacked and backdoored. A while ago, I created a video where I attempted to get a million pings. I had to use multiple bots due to Discord's rate limit. My attempt was successful, but I wanted more. More pings in less time. So I researched and learned of something called Discord webhooks. In short, they are bots with only message sending permissions in a confined channel. I tried writing my own code, but the Discord webhook and bots seem to have the same rate limiting. Naturally, I turned to the web to find code that can help me send messages to a webhook. This is how I ran into this repository, conveniently created just two hours before I searched for it. While skimming through the code, I noticed three imports that seem suspiciously out of place. Judy B, Colors API, and API Color. Although I'm not completely sure whether those imports are malicious or just a tool, but I had just assumed they dealt with Discord's embeds, which unfortunately led to this guy accessing my computer. I ran the code and it worked, but I got rate limited, just as badly as my code. So I called it off for the day and went to bed. However, the code had already infected my computer. I minded my own business when I noticed a new server on my server list, one I've never joined. After a bit of exploration and dinging later, I knew my computer was no longer safe. In the features and information channel of the server, I learned a few important things. You can infect the computer with a line of Python code, the attacker can get account logins and steal your Bitcoin wallets, and finally it is undetectable. The only Python code I've ever run on this computer was the webhook spammer. When trying to check the GitHub repository again, the account and everything was gone. After future research online, I found an article, posted on the same day, November 10th. They detailed the two imports I used on the 8th, GDB and API Color. Two articles written by this author explain with reasonable detail on how they managed to pull this off. I cannot say for certain whether GDB or API color are malicious, but the code certainly used it to infect my computer. In summary, the Python code would install all requirements to carry out this organized attack. With these modules, they download an image. GDB is then used to process this image and extract Python code in the image. This is called steganography. Definition from Oxford. The practice of concealing messages or information within other non-secret text or data. This new Python code is then run on your computer. In the logs channel of the Discord server, unfortunate victims that have Nitro on their account have boosted the server multiple times without their knowledge. I did what I could to message these users and ask them to contact Discord or their bank and do something about their computers. The owner linked their Steam to their Discord account. His account is based in Florida, United States. Clicking the arrow shows that he has played as this and Zeeked. And keep this one in mind, as it will be more important later. The comment section shows a few comments. Two in Portuguese, one in Spanish. Interesting. He's in a Steam group called Untrusted Players, which has its language set to Portuguese, Brazil. The owner had a profile banner, which showed his Bitcoin balance, with $50,000, but had since been removed. I wiped my drive and installed a clean copy of Windows on it, and I knew I wanted to learn more about this attack. But two of many victims I've warned decided to purchase this malicious thing called Wasp Stealer. I contacted one of the buyers and was able to convince them to show me the Python code they got, and invite me to the server that they will use to view the victim's computers in. The file I was sent did not resemble what I had run on the 8th at all. It was a piece of Python code, encoded in Base64. Decoding it shows the usage of three presumably safe imports. Looks like it downloads an exe file and runs it. I ran a few times, but the Discord server remained idle. But the code did show a web address, misogyny.wtf. 
The website contained nothing but text. Most likely, source code for an EXE. The site does not have a home page, and the viewing page was the only one available. Online tools were not able to extrapolate any information as they were all set to hidden. However, we know the website was registered on Namecheat and later last month on the 26th. An abuse email can be filed at abuse at namecheap.com. After some more digging, I received a ping from the server in the announcements channel. I see a screenshot, with captions misspelled, available soon. The image shows a console with the text, earn developer badge. Looks like this guy is not only trying to get your information, but he is also trying to get your Discord token with other methods. Perhaps he was unaware there was his GitHub. Visiting his profile created just today on the 12th, there seems to be a welcome readme. After exploring it, I realized this whole readme was copied off of another user, Krypton, who seems to be a legit developer. Of course, I had to inform Krypton, and it looked like this isn't the first time Krypton has had his entire readme copied. Basically, all of Alpha's profile information comes from Krypton. However, the information below his user may be legit, but I cannot be sure. He allegedly works for PennyMac and resides in the UK. The first one called Earn Discord Active Developer currently has no code. However, it is said to help you get the Discord Active Developer Badge if you give the program your Discord token. A video was linked in the readme called Get Active Dev Badge, made by Zeeked, the exact username as the one on the Steam profile. Posted just 33 minutes before I checked, the video features the app and how to use it. I'm certain to an extent that this video was created by Alpha, and his username conveniently shows up as a team at timestamp 103 of the video. From the language of Discord and language choices from his app, it seems like he is in Portugal and speaks Portuguese. The video for this thumbnail is taken from another YouTuber gaining popularity by the name No Text to Speech. No Text to Speech uploads legitimate Discord related videos. If you do want this badge, I advise you to watch No Text to Speech's video. This repository seems to be a two factor authenticator application. It claims to be a Google Authenticator, but of course it is not. After inspecting the code, it seems to be using a legit module called PyOTP. Presumably not malicious, as it is quite popular. The code is quite short, and nothing seems out of line. Once again, if you want a 2FA Authenticator, I suggest Google's actual Authenticator, or Authy, by Twilio. Back to the Discord. This time, he completely revealed his GitHub and repository, asking for 30 stars to reveal the active developer badge code. As of now, this is all that I have explored. I wanted to get this video out there so people are aware. From my mistakes, I hope everyone has learned not to run code, even if it's from GitHub, and it is much safer to use code from reputable repositories. More follow-up videos should be on their way.